This is from Life News. Uh, headline, new Moderna coronavirus vaccine, the one that you might be getting, not created with fetal cells from baby, babies killed in abortions. Good news. I love giving you good news. A second pharmaceutical company has announced that it has successfully created a new vaccine to combat the coronavirus. And this article, by the way, came out uh, about a week ago, uh, two weeks ago. Moderna follows Pfizer, which announced its own 90% effective vaccine, saying it proved better than expected at protecting people from COVID-19 in a pivotal study, a milestone in the hunt for shots that can stop the global pandemic. The Moderna vaccine was created with help from the Trump administration under the Operation Warp Speed program. Uh, agreements with companies including Moderna, Sanofi, and that's Sanofi Pasteur, that's the whole name, GlaxoSmithKline, and Johnson & Johnson will secure hundreds of millions of vaccine doses so vaccines can be available to Americans as quickly as they are approved. That's a statement from the White House. We just announced, um, in the same statement from the White House, we just announced that uh, mRNA-1273, our COVID-19 vaccine candidate, has met its primary efficacy endpoint in the first interim analysis of the phase three COVE study. Uh, in its announcement, Moderna, for its part, said that its vaccine would not be widely available until the spring of 2021. 10 other vaccine candidates are in their phase three trials and over 50 different vaccines are being developed worldwide according to a New York Times database. For pro-life Americans and people worldwide, one of the big questions is whether or not the vaccine is ethical in terms of how it was made and whether cells from aborted babies were used. The Moderna vaccine was developed without using fetal cells. As a consequence, the pro-life Charlotte Lozier Institute listed the vaccine as ethically uncontroversial. Both Moderna and Pfizer vaccines use synthetic genetic coronavirus material called messenger RNA or mRNA. When the harmless mRNA enters a person, the person's immune system fights it simulating what it would normally do if infected with the actual virus and developing antibodies as a result. In other words, Moderna's vaccine was developed using genetic sequencing on computers instead of making it with fetal cells. The Charlotte Lozier Institute provides information about the studies showing that to be the case. So because we're all kind of, you know, thinking about this and wondering about it, and I, I had a colleague of mine ask me just yesterday, you know, what, you know, what do we know about which vaccines are known now to not be morally compromised because they were not derived from aborted baby stem cells? Well, you heard it here. Life News is reporting that the Moderna coronavirus vaccine is one of those. It's not morally problematic. Now, if you want the data and if you want to read the specifics, uh, we'll get a link to this article for you on the show Twitter feed at P. Madrid Show, or just go to relevantradio.com slash Patrick, and you'll be able to find it there. Uh, and you'll be able to dig down deeper and find out more. But I thought you might enjoy that. For more of the Patrick Madrid Show, visit relevantradio.com slash Patrick.